Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Greta and I want to do another episode of my short series of notes I love and some of my favorite fragrances that have it. So it's really just a quick one of, I love this note, this is the fragrance I go to for it. I love this note, this is the fragrance I go to it. And I'm liking this little series of these little short videos. So let's get to it. Okay, I'm like filming here and I'm still in the same clothes from the previous video because I don't really care. I just want to get this filmed. And whenever I start changing my wardrobe, like my hair and everything gets all messed up and I just don't care. So let's move on. Palisanto. That is a note. Um, I like woods. I love subtle woods. I mean, yes, I like rich woods too, but I really love clean, subtle, creamy woods, kind of like a musky wood. I really like that. So Palo Santo is a unique one, also known for having like sacred abilities and very like cleansing. And Kerner Barcelona, Palo Santo is one I absolutely love. I also have this in, is this a 10 or 15 ml? Um, that I carry, well, I carry this one with me too and I travel. There's something very calming about this. It is true. I don't know what they say, but Palo Santo. I have the little sticks too to burn, very cleansing, whatever. But I don't know. I don't feel anything from that wood. But this has something about it that this is my fragrance when I need to reboot. If I'm very like worked up, if you're worked up, stressed out, anything like that. There's something about this fragrance that is kind of like my reboot. It just, the way it kind of grabs me with a little bit of intensity when it opens up, it opens up with a jolt. It has more richness, intensity, it says rum. So it has like this creamy booziness to me where it kind of opens up with that intensity, which is enough to grab your attention because when you're worked up, you need sometimes a firm voice to say, get a grip, girl, like get a grip. That's what this fragrance does. It commands control of you. And then it like settles in in just a couple of minutes and you get more of this milky. There's definitely a milk in here, like a milky, creamy, cozy vibe that just kind of like smacks you in the face and says, snap out of it. Like this fragrance says, snap out of it. Now calm the heck down. And it does it so well. It's crazy. So as this thing dries down and it gets more cozy, a little bit more of like a cocoon, like a creamy lactonic, cozy, tonka, creamy kind of thing, it just kind of lulls you to relaxation. And then you're in a better mood like in an hour after spraying this. It's the craziest thing, but it always works, um, but in a calming sort of way. Not like, a, okay, I need to party. I need something to amp me up. That is not it. This is definitely to calm me down. And I love that about Palo Santo um, and Carter Barcelona. Very cool. Um, I'll put a link down below. I do have a discount, but they're a house that I actually really like. They're very nice people. Oh, okay. This is big news. Okay. So, I mean, vanilla, we all like vanilla, right? It is the number one most popular note is vanilla. It is the most liked note out there. Um, I didn't make that up. That is just a thing. It is just the truth. So a vanilla caramel. I mean, you have to be almost super specific with vanilla because vanilla is like in everything, it seems. But a vanilla caramel. This is one that has been hyped and I finally got my hands on it. And it is in my store, which is kind of cool. I have a very limited amount, but I do have some because they've been really hard to get a hold of just by their manufacturing limitations. But I have by Epico Vinny Charnel. Now, this is definitely a vanilla caramel. However, this is definitely a lighter. It is definitely a good quality, smooth vanilla with a caramel hue. It is not like a rich caramel, thick caramel. It has like a caramelized kind of hue to it. I find it to be a more gentle one. I don't find it to be a massive projector, but I find it a mass appealing, very easy to like, and also a good price. This is under two hundred dollars, one eighty plus. When you use Greta Ten, it's like uh, one sixty. You're looking at for your hundred ml, which I think is putting it in a really good price range because 
I mean, I just bought some designers for 150. So I think that's putting a really good price range on this for a really good caramelized vanilla. Now, this is not as intense as say um Escapade Gourmand, which by the way, the dapper is phenomenal, phenomenal. I really like this. He did this so well that you don't need to even get the original. But this is milder than this. This is more intense for sure. But there's something sexy about this one. There's something that just floats in the air, sexiness, smooth, silky kind of vanilla caramel. Like this is your silky chemise sliding across your skin kind of vanilla caramel. That is so easy to like. It is never cloying. There's something um, yeah, creamy about it. Very creamy and silky kind of like just floats over your skin. I thought it was going to be like a beast, and it is not. It's gorgeous. It's sexy. It's sensual. This is something that you can even wear for close encounters. You can wear it on your date night and have your vavoom, and then and it settles down where it's this gorgeous like kitten fragrance for later on where they can get close and you're not like screaming in their ear with your fragrance. It's it'll it'll afford for that, and there's something very alluring about it something very gourmand too it's very gourmand and delicious oh i like this one i really really like this one um you do need to spray this one you can spray this one i think like a normal sprayage for this you don't have to over spray it but don't under spray it you really need to do your normal spray routine which i'm pretty generous on but i'm loving this and this is in my store you can get decans or buy the full bottle of vani charnel i think this is a hit. Going back to more cozy fragrances, <sighs> I love a good musky scent. Like just a good cozy musky scent. Like if you're into like Narciso Rodriguez, which is more of like a powdery kind of musk, but he's really into these musky scents. So if you're into those kind of fragrances, a lot of his just don't agree with me too well. Some of them are off-putting to me. Some of them are just, uh, some of them I love. I do love Poudre. That one I really like. Some of the others I just can't get on with too much, but nothing but sea and sky. And again, affordable fragrance. This is not bringing the bank. This is definitely within designer prices. Um, this one has a freshness to it. It's, it's supposed to give the image of Montauk Point. You're sitting there and you're at the the end of Long Island and you have the sound and you have the, the Atlantic Ocean and you're looking out and all you see is ocean all around you. You have a white sky because it's winter time. You have snow on the ground. You have white sand at the beach where everything is white. You've got white caps, white sky, white snow, white sand, just everything's white around you. And it definitely does turn into like a white imagery out there where there's those days where it's literally what it looks like. And that's what this is supposed to be inspired by or inspiring of to give you that vibe. To me, this is one that I love when I'm just working from home, sitting cozy or a bedtime scent or a, if I'm not feeling well, there's something comforting about it. Or if you're not supposed to wear a fragrance, it's the kind of fragrance you can wear and get away with because there's something clean and cozy about a musk that I really like this. Um, I get almost like a, a sandalwood. Yeah, I get like um, a wood, a dry wood, like a sandalwood or palo santo kind of thing in here. So it's again that woody, musky kind of fragrance. This one has something, it has a little bit of citrus in here, which there's something vibrant, almost like, almost laundry detergent, like kind of fresh citrusy clean about it, along with that woody musk kind of feeling here versus um, Palo Santo has that little bit of like booziness hint to it, which fades away, but there's that creaminess, intense richness on that one. This one's more fresher, cleaner, really like this. Sticking with that, I, you know what's so weird is I randomly pulled these out and I was like, oh, I like that note, I like that note, I like that note, and I apparently pulled all like woods and musks, which I happen to really love. And this one is for 
the sandalwood again. So we got the musk, it had musk and sandalwood. And then we have the one that is Palo Santo that also has a musk in there as well. And it's a clean wood. And then for sandalwood, the Piano Santal by La Orchestra. They all have, again, the same theme, even though they're different notes that I pulled for each of them. They all end up on a very similar vibe of that creamy wood, creamy, fresh wood, musky vibe. I like this one. This one sits close for sure. And again, all of these are reasonably priced. They're all definitely um, the 100 to 200 range on all these, excuse me, on all these fragrances. So the L'Orchestra collection is all about music and they choose a musical instrument, a musical piece, and then the note, they the fragrance note, not musical note, that they want to highlight. And that's the name of the perfume. So this is Piano Santal, and there would be a piano music piece that they have that they feel describes the tone of this fragrance. And you can go on their website and play that music. This has a very milky smell to it. Definitely a lot of milk, like a nutty, woody milk kind of feel to it. This one definitely rides close to you, probably the closest of them all. Um, but it has a richness to it, even though it's close to you, there's there's definitely a richness and the fragrance is there, even though it doesn't project far. It's there and it's very gratifying, this fragrance. Definitely, if you like a milky fragrance, milky wood, oh, this one is so good, it's so good. It's a fresh kind of wood smelling, a fresh sandalwood, like you just cracked the wood into a piece and you got that burst of a wood smell. This one's definitely, again, silky, sexy, creamy kind of fragrance, but it's more cozy, this one. Great snuggle fragrance, Piano Santal. Hasn't been talked about in a while, and gosh, this one is so good. It's not even funny. So yeah, and I, I, I think all of the, I have like discount codes with everyone, guys. It's like ridiculous. So I think all of these, there's a code of something. It's usually Greta 10, if in doubt, Try Greta 10 wherever you're going because it's probably in there. Um, had some, one of them has something unique about it. It's like a free miniature bottle instead or something. One of them is Bistro, but I'll put it down below. But more often than not, it's just Greta 10 wherever you go, whatever brand. Um, so yeah, loving those. I guess the oddball is this guy, except this is a really creamy, silky kind of vanilla caramel. So all of them have this sensual kind of feel to them. They're all comforting. This is the most outgoing of them all. This is the one I would use on date night, but it's not like a loud party date night. There's something more one-on-one -on -one date night about that fragrance versus going to a big party and needing to blast above other scents. That one is more, yeah. Yeah, good day night. So yeah, I'm going to keep this one short. I'm liking these short videos. I don't know if you are. Let me know if you're liking the, the quick fat, like a little bit more often quicker, shorter videos. But those are some of my cozier fragrances, silkier, more sensual that I'm really enjoying and really need to kind of circle back on a lot of fragrances and highlight them again because there's so much like new, 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 and sometimes we need to be reinvigorated on what's in our collection, right? We need to be reminded of the stunning scents in your collection, right? Like, not just me, you too. We need to be reminded and kind of reignited on them because they are so stunning. They have not changed. They are just as amazing as when you bought them. So I want to re-inspire you on those. So, I'll do some more of these, okay? I'll see you guys in the next one. Mwah.